Well, guys, it took a long time, but at least uh, in my opinion, we're going to call this one done. Uh, this is the Hobby Boss 172 scale F5E Tiger II fighter. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, I'm going to start off with the negatives first. Um, the fit on this kit was a little bit of a challenge. Um, especially the wing roots right here to about this panel line right here. Um, there's a nice gap. Uh, I ended up filling it with Milliput and sanding it down and I think it turned out uh, better than I expected honestly. You can kind of see in there on the bottom I didn't care as much as it is the bottom. Um, and then same thing on um, the fuselage. It, I mean that well, that one was your pretty standard cleanup, but it, it did need a couple times uh, and some primer coats to finally um, be filled in. Otherwise, um, I don't I don't have much to complain about. Um, which for some people that might be the deal breaker. Um, sanding and filling, you know, can take a long time, especially if you you know you got to wait for putty to cure. Uh, depending on what you're using, you know, how thick it is. Um, so, so for some people that may be the deal breaker. What I did enjoy about this kit was um, for a, a pretty nice looking kit all said and done, uh, there wasn't that many parts. Um, I actually have some I need to uh, put in the box, but, you know, two sprues. Um, as far as detail goes on the parts, it was pretty good. Um, you know, not, not too much cleanup, not too much flash. Uh, the instructions were pretty, uh, whoops, were pretty detailed. Um... You know, pretty clear. The, this was pretty easy to follow. Everything's numbered. Um, one thing I really appreciate is when it's actually a book style instead of like the accordion style. And then it did come with, obviously you can do, do it yourself. But it came with four sets of decals uh, for... Well, I guess I shouldn't say four, but it came with decals to do four different schemes. Um, you know, you, you you can do a custom scheme. Um, this this particular plane, I didn't really have any. You know, I just wanted to do one. I like the plane. Um, and I haven't done a lot of brown camouflage schemes or 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 you know in that uh, range of colors, so I went with this one. Uh, it's a it's a navy design, I guess. Um, so that was the positives. The other one is um, the 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 decals are a nice thin style. They sink right in, like you can't even tell. Um, there's there's no shimmer on, at all. They sink right in with the 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 mark fit strong, and I'm. Whoop, I'm sure they'll be fine with whatever your your preference is. Um, it also came with um, oh man, I just busted that off. Anyway, <laughs> pay no attention to my bad super glue job. Um, it did come with uh, a full uh, loadout, I guess you could say: three fuel tanks, two bombs, two missiles. Um, which detail wise I think look great they came with decals even for the uh, weaponry so I will super glue that back on don't <laughs> we'll pretend that didn't just happen um, landing gear pretty solid um, because it does have this sort of cross piece in there which a lot of uh, models don't have at least that I've done 
So for, uh, I think I paid $15 for this kit. I think it turned out great. Um, the brown that I used uh, looked a lot darker when I put it on. And I thought to myself, you know, I should, uh, I should, uh, you know, maybe uh, go back over that with a darker brown. But I thought once I broke it up with kind of this uh, green khaki color um, between that and the dark yellow uh, sand color there that it would break it up a little more. It, it didn't do it as much as I want. There's not as much color separation as I want. Um, so, but, but on camera and, and right now after the matte coat has been on and cured for about a day, I think it looks great. One thing that turned out way better than I was even hoping was this bluing that I never tried before. Now this might not be 100% accurate, accurate as far as the placing goes. Let's see if we can uh, bring that into focus here. But you'll never guess what I used. And it turned out, you know, maybe it's not the most accurate. Uh, I know there's a lot of people prefer to do it with clears. But actually, I just used this I just on a whim you know you get to the it, that was the last uh, I just kind of had a thought basically I did this oil stain all around it and then I did this burnt blue and I didn't think it would work but and, and then I kind of went back over it and I think it turned out great it looks just like I painted it and maybe it is kind of cheating but uh, as far as uh, knowing that I could do that with that uh, I think that's uh, something good to know for the future. Um, <clears throat> yeah, all in all, uh, if, if you want like a pretty cheap kit um, for a, a more uh, a smaller kit but has a nice nice bit of options, I'd say this is a good buy if you don't mind uh, doing a little um, building and uh, uh, extra cosmetic work. One thing I wish I took the time to do was these panel lines. Um, I, I filled them in and um, every time I tried to kind of clean up the excess, uh, the, they were just too shallow. They wouldn't run. Even with the gloss coat and everything, they wouldn't run. So, And I knew when I, before I primed it that I should do the panel lines, but I just... Sometimes you don't feel like doing a step and panel lining sometimes is, is a, a lot of trouble. Um, especially if you're not in the mood to do it because you try to rush. Then you get out of the lines. So all in all, I am happy with this build. Minus, I guess I didn't glue this on good enough. So I'm just going to slap a little more glue on there and put it back in and, and uh, call it good. But yeah, um... Next thing I'm working on, guys, uh, it's going to be, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. There's a little uh, AT gun, anti-tank gun here. Uh, that's all I'm going to show for now. Um, it may be a couple more days before uh, an update on that project for the next video. Uh, as, as some of you have maybe watched some of my other videos, I am a Warhammer fan. And uh, the new game just came out, and I am uh, kind of wasting my time playing that and having a lot of fun. But I hope you guys this week is doing uh, is going well. I uh, hope the rest of your week goes well until I uh, talk to you guys again, and we'll uh, see you in the next one.